We um, bring in the boys who uh, would be eligible for the under 17 uh, World Cup. Uh, so predominantly they would be the Australian under 17 team. We would have them in for a, a two, year, two year period uh, and during that, uh, during that two years we would uh, develop them uh, to a level where down the track, down the probably three or four years time they would go through to uh, hopefully an early contract uh, built into the young Socceroos and then uh, eventually be uh, national team players. It's a challenging age. I think now they're uh, going through stages of, uh, you know, they'd soon be able to uh, to start driving. Uh, you know, they meet girls. Uh, there's always going to be a lot of distractions, and uh, which we try to, uh, you know, put them in a uh, in an area where they can focus, you know, fully on their on their training. Because uh, if if they want to make a career out of it, then this is you know, a great place to uh, to learn and develop. When they get to those, uh, you know, group group age of you know 15 to 16, they're they're very um, interesting years because that's when, you know, through experience, I can see a lot of players either make that next step or they get left behind. So that's where, you know, the the growing comes in in, in terms of the body, but also the the tactical and tech technical knowledge you need to put that all together which is quite difficult and I think at the AIS with the coaching that they receive and the facilities and the and the way it's been brought in together with the under 17 to Joey side it all kind of working together and, and, and they know how they want to play so it's um, very beneficial. It benefits a player both on and off the field because they're going to get the best coaches here and that's one part of your career and your professional development but also off the field is important. I feel that's what we do really, really well as part of our program um, with the host families, having someone to go home to, of a night time to talk to and sometimes that's talking not about football, about something else in their lives um, and switching off from football is important. So that's one aspect that I feel our program provides. Uh, but then also that the welfare and the, the strong relationships that the players have with all the program staff makes them feel um, very well supported. But I definitely, um, you know, learnt my craft here, and I feel, you know, very indebted. But you know, that's just a stepping stone in my career, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm very grateful to the people that gave me the opportunity to come here and train, and, and uh, you know, it was a really good couple of years I spent here, and I kind of learnt. I guess my craft, so to say, you know, it was full-time football, you know, I was training uh, twice a day and um, I was, guess it was my first full-time experience of football and the coaching staff and uh, you never know who's watching either and it's uh, a lot of, you know, people that play for Socceroos have come through the AA system and, um, you know, there's no coincidence to that.